the counselors just get cancelled itself <laughs> because them, none of us have perfect past. Yeah. None of us. Yeah. I think a lot of teachers do want to, to teach in person. You see how people not pushing back against wearing this mask in the car with yeah, your bro. family and uh, fully vaccinated. Wearing mask outdoors in yeah, general, that too, brother. Wearing mask outdoors too. Yeah, bro. I, I wish it opens people's eyes in general to what a lot of this activist culture we have is about. It's about a lot of fakeness. Mm-hmm. And, what are you doing, And I mean, don't tell me that you do that for law enforcement purposes because it is already foolish to tell me that simply because you can't get a handle on pH driving, I have to wear a mask. Yeah, cause, exactly. Because you are incompetent. That's number one. Ruling the um the social distance mm. ruling, right? The, the guide the guidelines given by the CDC in the United States. And it was basically saying that it was made up. Like people think that the six feet comes from some sort of study that they right. conducted that's like saying, completely arbitrary. He said the actually, views expressed in this podcast are simply the opinions of the guests and the hosts. From their perspective, these opinions aren't necessarily facts, nor with the intent to defame any person or establishment. This is not legal, medical, financial, nor spiritual advice. Hey, welcome back. It's the Alternative Perspectives Podcast. Jude, Nalo, we're on the inside. Mm. And remember, you could listen for us because they probably, if you're watching this, you're watching it on YouTube. But if you're not, pick you up yourself. Are you watching on Spotify? Um, no, I actually, that's a whole separate right. um, okay. cool. system you had to go into to, to be able to watch on Spotify. Right. But you could listen on Spotify, you could listen on, on Amazon Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. All those things. So remember... Basically, anywhere you could find podcasts. Podcasts, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? So you're switching the app 868. The app 868. Yeah? Mm. Um, and we're going to jump into the podcast pretty quickly today. Uh, and, you know, these days, a lot of things going on. A lot of things are going on in, in Trinidad and Tobago. A lot of things going on worldwide. I mean, of course... A lot of very important things. Yeah, yeah a lot yeah. of important things. <laughs> And I'm going to say, um, you know, also, let's go, Brandon. Um, <laughs> let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. You know what they say, ho. Anyhow, <laughs> right? Very few you might know that, that, what that is. But, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I, don't, anyway. I don't think it's very few anymore, you know, because it's it, it going international now. Yeah. I think that a song, that I, yes. yeah, that a rap song. That was number one on iTunes or something. So they tried to ban it in Canada. <laughs> Real craziness. I, I, I haven't listened to this song, but I heard somebody said that some, like, uh, rapper, not a famous rapper, mm. but some rapper made a song with the hook, Let's Go Brandon, and it fly off on the charts. Hey, let's go Brandon. I keep a draw my Gomnick cannon. Anyway, yeah, but that's, <laughs> so again, big. So not, uh, it mightn't be as obscure as you think. Well, you see. So let's go Brandon. All the listeners out there, you're going to hear it. You're probably going to hear it here first um, from us. <laughs> Um, no, I think I think all, all, all listeners are gonna hear that first. I think so. Oh, oh, all of yours. What the, the song? No, no, no. The the, the let's go, Brandon. What thing. it is? And they're gonna Google it. And find no, they're gonna Google it and find out. Or oh, when oh, it come oh. out, they'll be like, "Wait, boy, them fellas ready to what I know?" Oh, but yeah, okay. let's go, Brandon. <laughs> um, and if we had to get one for Trinidad, anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> so it won't take long, and, and I don't think I don't think it would be, it would be euphemized in the way that let's go, Brandon mm. was. Yeah, they wouldn't they wouldn't do that. Um. Let me jump into what going on right. with this back and alley. Right. And then we'll come up with one for here. Um, <laughs> when we start on full. Now, recently, I say, uh, saw a video of something in Parliament where, mm. with an independent senator. I, 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 honestly, I, I have never heard about this guy before. I didn't know anything about him. Anything mm. at all, whatsoever. And listening to the guy speak, I was like, wait, 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 wait. This should mm. that? <laughs> hold on, hold on. This guy... Is seeming like he's bright, and in the parliament, <laughs> like we do, 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 do. But to be fair, I, 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 it's not even that he seems like he's bright. He just seems like he's rational. Right. Yeah. That's that's what seems to be missing a lot. Just people being rational. So when I heard of it, it shocked me as well. No, I wouldn't. It was not the first time I heard somebody in Trinidad and Tobago express any sentiment, or some of the sentiments he expressed. Uh, but it was surprising to hear it on the floor of the Senate, and it was also surprising to hear it so 
expressed so calmly. He didn't sound mm. like it was it was political grandstanding. It was right. just simply, listen, I'm asking some questions here and I want some answers. So that was a pleasant surprise. So um the guy, Anthony Vera. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna play a little a little piece of what he had to say, and we're gonna jump into it, break it down. Um much time on government's response to the virus. In fact, the theme of the budget is resilience in the face of a global pandemic. Unlike other countries, for example, the United Kingdom, Trinidad and Tobago lost no time in taking decisive action and government was lauded for its efforts. At least in the early stages when we knew little about the virus. And the wisest course of action was better to be safe than to be sorry. But it seems to me that somewhere along the line, the powers that be have lost the plot. I particularly bemoan the over-reliance on vaccines, as though vaccination is the only magic bullet. Not long ago, in this very house, I asked the Honorable Minister of Health about ivermectin, a question he poo-pooed. But what's the harm with the Minister of Health or the Minister of Foreign Affairs checking with their counterparts in India, Africa, and elsewhere? I want to stick up uh, up in there, Mm -hmm. and he said, is a question he poo-pooed. Yeah, uh, I, I would assume when he say poop would mean any kind of shut it down. Yes, he was very dismissive of it. Right, yeah. which what we which we know to be a common issue. Right, I would think I would say with this PNM government, probably um probably but others when, as well. To be fair, when it comes to ivermectin, I would say that there's a or any alternative mm-hmm. any any suggestion of an alternative uh form of treatment for COVID generally all those things are poo-pooed. So I know where you're going and I don't disagree mm. in terms of how dismissive uh, this government tends to be whenever they're faced with any kind of uh, opposing mm-hmm. um, or alternative perspective. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it, to be fair to them, apart from outside of just their you know tendencies, everybody seems to be doing that when they bring up things mm. like ivermectin. So yeah, go ahead. To see if there's any truth to the reports about ivermectin being used effectively against COVID in those countries. If it turns out that such claims are just fake news, government can report accordingly. But if it turns out that there is validity to those claims, then surely that must be good news. Surely because it gives us an additional weapon in the fight against COVID. Why the blind adherence to the WHO, especially when it is, there's potential for conflicts of interest due to the influence that WHO funders have on that organization? That's important. Why, mm-hmm. when institutions like the WHO, IMF, and WTO, World Trade Organization, who are forever pontificating about the need for transparency and accountability. Was it necessary for the country to sign non-disclosure agreements? When the leader of the opposition asked the Minister of Health about these non-disclosure agreements, his response was that it's part of the standard negotiating process. But I don't accept that. Right. I think we, we could... We could, we could pause it there? Yeah, we could stop it there. I think we could... Mm. Not, let's pause it. We'll stop it there. Um, because he goes on to talk about how he doesn't understand why um, uh, divulging information uh, on, on you know, the terms and conditions or the, or the contracts that um, facilitate the provision of the vaccines. He doesn't understand how that could you know, harm the pharmaceutical companies or the organizations involved or whatever, right? And I don't, I don't want to get too much into that, but, but he is, again, asking very, very valid exactly. questions, right? Um, and before we go on, I want to make it clear that, you, well, I know I'm not, but I would speak for you and say neither you nor I um, is trying to push ivermectin. Right, right, right. right. I don't know if ivermectin works. I am not qualified to say whether it does or doesn't. Mm-hmm. 
And this isn't even about whether or not we are we are not doing the right thing by using ivermectin or not, mm. right? Because that's the first thing people will say, oh, they'll come to push that dog medicine, right? <laughs> I have no opinion necessarily mm. on whether ivermectin works or not. Oh, would you say I have no opinion on other people taking ivermectin? Or, or, well, because mm, what I will ask you now is, would you, um, would you chance it and take ivermectin yourself. Let's just say... If I, if I got diagnosed yeah, yeah. with COVID. Yeah. Or, well, and, uh, the other way that it's people say that it, it is used or could be helpful is pro- prophylactically. Right. So you, you come into contact with somebody well, who has COVID. Because I'll get into that too. Um, because, okay, uh, I, um, I know I know someone who works... And I'll try, I'll try to call just in the best way possible. So I know someone who works in a private hospital in Trinidad and Tobago, mm-hmm. right? And one of the leading doctors suggested in, the, in a while ago mm-hmm. that all of them take like a certain dosage of, of ivermectin. Prophylactically. Right, prophylactically, right? right? Um, so, I, I, and well, that person told us Paul was Trying to be real, yeah. right? <laughs> careful. careful with this. Yeah. To this pause and and you know, so they got this pause got and 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 right. that is how they have been operating a while now. I don't know right. if they're still on it. I mean, I'm right. not too sure. But if, listen, you're asking me if I would be yeah. afraid to take it. No, I wouldn't be afraid to take it. Um, I think I would prefer to have a doc, have doctor, a doctor's guidance on how it, it should be taken. Mm. Um. But I wouldn't be afraid to take it. Uh, from what I understand, it's not a a harmful it's not substance. Ha- and and if you take it, and you do have a problem. More than likely, you won't. If well, it, if what, you take a, reg- a, a a reasonable dose. Well, what what people I've heard mentioned as even by people who think it works, they they are willing to admit that there is no there are no long term no studies with respect to the long term usage of it so mm. the prophylactic usage of it how long you're taking it for because i mean if covid is around and you want to prevent yourself from getting it then you would you know you'd be on a regimen constantly mm. taking it and they, 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 we don't know what effect that can have on yeah. on on people they who use it would suspect of course that it it isn't harmful that they, don't, mm. they probably wouldn't have any the, the benefits of it if it works to stick to keep to to, to scave off covid would outweigh the drawbacks mm. but um if if i would i probably wouldn't want to use it prophylactically because right. I, I i i agree with that too i mean just taking drugs unnecessarily just I mean, yeah, yeah I, I, and constantly you yeah. know i wouldn't take panadol every day i would mm. you know and, and panadol is Mm. you know so but if i was diagnosed with it and a doctor gave me some sort of guidance but again i am not giving anybody any medical advice well, and right, i want right, to make right, that clear right, right? Right. So that's what i want to say because i do i also don't want to make it seem like he make a point and we are kind of against the point but we bring it up you understand what I'm no, r- no right yeah. but but, but uh, to bring it back to why it's important we, last week we were mm. talking about we 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 discussed Joe Rogan and right. how he was demonized by the press mm-hmm. it, he was speaking specifically about CNN but you know a lot of media mm-hmm. uh, it generally did the same thing and i was making the point that the reason why it's important it might seem like this is distant to Trinidad and Tobago that's happening in the states as some podcast in america mm. who cares right but what the point I was making was that international news, especially sources like like CNN, influence many people across the world, and especially in countries like ours, where we don't have a great amount of resources, we mm. can't do independent research necessarily. So we would depend on these bigger nations to tell. And if if these things are being demonized by supposedly you know legitimate news sources, it might influence how. Now he mentioned that when he brought it up in the parliament, it was poo pooed. Mm. Now I don't know why it was poo pooed. I can't say. For sure, it was poo pooed because of you know how it's demonized in the press, but it could very well be. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It could very well be. And his point is, we could have missed out, or we can still could be missing out on an opportunity to save lives, to save lives, and to have something else in the quiver, another arrow in the quiver that we use to attack COVID. It does not have to compromise the vaccine drive. It does, nobody is saying, well, if we're going to use ivermectin, don't, 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 don't. Don't get vaccinated. Mm-hmm. No, because even vaccinated contract the virus. Mm-hmm. So we would we should be looking for every form of treatment to 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 deal with the the the, to, the 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 consequences of the virus to mitigate the consequences of the virus. 
but we seem to be in no way, shape, or form interested in anything other than vaccines. Um, I just wanted to, to uh, inform some of the listeners and viewers that the the drug, and we spoke about this already, but the drug, and but just a reminder for the people who heard it before, the drug that they're talking about making, um, that, goes, that is going to cost 700 and something US for a yeah, course. Yeah, um, right? well, you're pure of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's an antiviral drug. Um, that is being made by, by Merck. Yes, that's the same company. The that, same company that makes like, that ivermectin. Brought, I, that brought ivermectin to market. To market, right. Now they don't make it anymore because yeah. it's generic. So, so everybody, everybody making it. it. Yes, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, but basically, yeah. yeah. So and I just wanted to put out there. Uh, <laughs> I think it's necessary to put out there. Uh, I mean. I don't know what you're inferring there. It's but just <laughs> a gentleman. man. Personally, but you know how I feel, right? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not saying that. I don't think it is the exact same drug. Right. Ivermectin and that. Mm -hmm. I think it may have some similarities. This is my opinion. Right. right? I, this is not fact. <laughs> this is my opinion. I think there are some similarities. Yeah. And I think they said, um, yeah, nah. so all the poop went on, on the ivermectin, mm -hmm. right? And we, so we got to make, make some adjustments. Get a new packet <laughs> well, and sell it for big money. That is, that is what the conspiracy theorists are saying, that that's what happened. Now, what it's doing is what the, the proponents of ivermectin say that ivermectin does, right. which is it stops the replication of the virus, right? right? Um, the people who, who say that ivermectin is effective, that's, what, that's how it's effective. But when you take it, 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 it prevents the virus from replicating within your system. Mm -hmm. And this antiviral drug... And they have more on the market to come eh, from mm. Pfizer and other companies, right? Then right? Pfizer's in the um, as well. That's what it's supposed to do as well. It's supposed to. So this drug is doing what people who claim ivermectin works actually is, is doing that, right? Right. So you're not actually you're not far off when they say it's basically the same thing. Mm. But in terms of the composition of the drug and how it works, and I, we don't we're not qualified to talk yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 we don't know that. I just think they say, hey, boy, look at how money to get. <laughs> yeah, boy, dog, boy. <laughs> well, I mean, that, and that's the other thing that he he raised there that I think is very important. We are not concerned about anything but... And we talked about this on a few episodes mm. before. You know, you would think that all concerned would be very, very interested in getting as many, um, as I say, arrows in the quiver to deal with COVID. But we seem to, we, we don't seem to be pressuring the drug companies to come up with treatments. We don't seem to be, it's just vaccines or nothing, you know? Mm -hmm. And although we are still seeing people fully vaccinated, contracting, getting ill and dying. So you would think, well, let's, uh, we, you know, e even for the ones who quote unquote did what they were told, who did the right mm. thing, who did the responsible thing. Well, um, we should bring something to market to treat them. Your your uncle, um, he put a, he put a video this weekend. My uncle, like, I don't know, the man name, the man name, Doctor John, Doctor John Campbell. I don't know, <laughs> right? Um, okay. <laughs> And, and, yes. we, and we have some family in England and thing. Uh, then but I he's not one of them. No. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no, I, 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 he's not one of them. No. <laughs> right. Um, in, in case you didn't realize, he and I look nothing alike. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes you know how things just go. Mm -hmm. So he was saying, um, oh, oh, sorry, but before mm -hmm. you continue, just for the purpose of the viewers and listeners, that's a. Uh, uh, I think he's a nurse, actually. I think he's a nurse practitioner. I'm not sure if he's a doctor. Well, the man name is doctor. Right, yeah. right. But, uh, but he calls himself a practicing nurse. So okay. I don't know what the technicality there is. Um, is there. But he is, um, he, he's a YouTube content creator who mm. talks, who, who does a medical vlog. Um, is watched by millions of people, mm. um, on a weekly basis. So just to, just to yeah. everyone understanding who that is. So, and he, um, it, he was he was doing some breakdowns and did some research and what whatnot, and he was showing you the now obviously he has no information on Sinopharm. I've uh, I've reached out to him on on a few occasions mm -hmm. um, to see if he would do some some sort of research on the Sinopharm. Mm -hmm. He never got back to me, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Probably he. You sent him an email or no, a, a, a comment? I comment oh. on a few videos. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't see his email. Really I just sent you. It. I think you could get it in the description. All right, I'll look and yeah, see. Yeah. Right, but um, what you are saying is that, and you are showing you based, and this is not what he come up with. Uh, he, he quotes where he gets all his information, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All his studies, all his reviews, mm -hmm. or whatnot. And and it's, and people should know as well. It's not flagged on YouTube, right. and they have very very strict rules about misinformation. So the fact that what he posts stays up, right, it, it says something. Yeah, and you are showing you how. 
the efficacy is dropping in, in the Pfizer vaccine, the Moderna mm-hmm. vaccine. And the one that blew my mind was the Johnson yeah, & Johnson. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Johnson & Johnson, after five months, the efficacy dropped to 3%. That yeah. is like almost not That's, vaccinated. Yeah, 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 yeah. To the point where I think I heard Fauci saying the other day that they should, the Johnson & Johnson should have been a double vaccine mm-hmm. regime from the beginning. Right. It should have been a double vaccine um, uh, implementation method anyhow. Right, right. so... He was um so he was saying that uh, he so he sh- he showed you the study that showed that the efficacy of the Johnson Johnson after five months dropped to three percent. So mm-hmm. people here who would have gotten the Johnson Johnson vaccine, keep in mind that <laughs> the efficacy is probably going to drop significantly. Now declines were greatest for the Janssen Johnson and Johnson vaccine, followed roughly equally by the Pfizer by the Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna. According to these studies. Yeah. According to these studies. Yeah. And this is where the uh, the figures are actually quite um, quite quite surprising, really. So specifically, according to this paper, here we have uh, specifically protection against infection. Janssen, Johnson and Johnson. March it was ninety two percent. August it was three percent. I mean that is what it says. I've double checked that about ten times. Three percent protection against infection. Absolutely staggering drop off in protection. Moderna, 91% in March, 64% in August. And Pfizer, uh, March, 95% protection. And August, 50% protection. So pretty massive reduction there we do see, particularly in the Janssen, Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Right. Um, He also kind of poo-pooed on... um AstraZeneca as well, mm-hmm. because what you're saying is, I what you think one of the reasons they had such a big, well, the Oxford AstraZeneca, because apparently that too, right? No, no I don't believe so. In terms of the, the, the those are uh, AstraZeneca is a pharmaceutical company that combined with, with with Oxford University to make this vaccine, right? But yeah. uh, nobody did as refer to Oxford AstraZeneca and our next one. Apparently, it had one that was that that I think they made in India, I think, or something like that. Anyhow, okay, uh-huh. yeah. So, but so what you're saying is, um. That one, because England, yeah, England was using a lot of AstraZeneca. Mm-hmm. You're seeing that now we're seeing in, uh, the, the cases rising again. And mm-hmm. he believes a part of it might be it just, AstraZeneca just not capable with fighting the Delta as, mm-hmm. you know, as well as the, the Pfizer and the Moderna. Mm-hmm. So that is just something to keep in mind. Um, well, and, it, and these are things that... You'd, none of this was mentioned when they said they take the job well, mm-hmm. and operate. Right? Well, well, I mean, they couldn't mention it. A lot of them couldn't mention it because um, they did not. The time didn't pass. Right. So, so that, and and that has been my point. Dan, calm down. All this thing here is it is it is basically experimental. Right. Time right. needs to yeah, pass for yeah, us to see what yeah. happens before you could make these definitives. What keeps irritating me every time I hear people speak about it's safe and it this and it will and it will and we will go back and mm. you don't know mm-hmm. I'm not saying you won't eh? I'm mm. not I'm not saying the vaccines are unsafe I'm saying to you you don't know just the other day I read that the they are now funding in the United States I think the CDC is funding um, a study into um, the effects of the vaccine on um, pregnant women right. pregnant women mm-hmm. right um, I don't want to misspeak because I and I did because because I didn't know we would reach here yeah. today. I didn't um research it, so I just going off of the top of you know my we memory. Remember, here. Yeah. But they they essentially were trying to investigate what would be the effects on the mothers and on the children mm-hmm. over time. And I think they funded the study. They committed like two million or three million to to do the study. They recruited the pregnant women and they're going to study them for I think a, a period of eighteen months, right? So mm-hmm. they'll through pregnancy and after they'll you know examine the children now they wouldn't need to know to do that if they knew exactly what the answer was mm-hmm. you'd have to fund a study to find out if water is wet mm-hmm. right but the people who would tell you it's safe mm-hmm. you're asking how do you know that the, the time has not passed and they are funding a study so that so now that study could find nothing at all it could mm-hmm. say it's safe everything good everything copper set mm-hmm. sure and good but the point is they're funding a study so that means they're trying to find out something now so stop saying you know mm-hmm. and this is why they keep they lose trust because instead of being honest, they keep using these tactics. They talk into some behavioral psychologist or some advisor who telling them, well, 
not necessarily in Trinidad. Oh, but, then, uh, <laughs> well, in Trinidad, I'm sure they they they, they, they could adv- they could bring on board behavioral psychologists to advise them as to how to go about you doing think them as well? Yeah, why not? I, and, and a behavioral scientist will tell them, well, you, you could use the carrot and the stick and your nudge. In, in, well, in England, they call it the nudge, nudge I, I, program I, or something like that. I think, this is my opinion, my perspective here, right? Mm-hmm. I think Rowley and him just pass it that thing in a bag. <laughs> on, a, on paper and ruffle it up and push the hand and they go hey this is what we could do today boy you understand know well uh, it might as well be and we'll get to that in a little bit because when you see somebody haphazard mm-hmm. and arbitrary things are taking place it looks like that's exactly what they're doing but I do think they will work with advisors who will get them ship, tell them ship and it's like call it a safe zone and mm-hmm. come up with a dirty slogan a vaccinate to operate and instead of simply being honest about what they know and what they, they don't, don't know, know. and mm-hmm. what they're certain of, and what they're not certain of, and asking for the public's cooperation. No, they don't. They want to appear as if they are. They are an authority on things. They are. No one is an authority on. Mm-hmm. You, you understand? What I'm saying no one. Is, maybe even maybe the vaccine manufacturers might have been. They just didn't tell you. But mm. you know. But ultimately, none of them were um, experts on what this vaccine would do in three months, or four months, or six mm-hmm. months. Right, mm-hmm. so you tell me, take my two job to operate, and then no, we still can operate, and then and then it might be in Israel. Mm-hmm. Now they're telling them take a third job, right? Mm-hmm. Or they can operate, and if you took your two jobs, well, you're fully vaccinated for a little while, right? But now it's like you're not vaccinated at all. So if you were one of those people who said, "All right, I don't really fear COVID," right? I personally don't think that I would. I'm at risk, mm. but you know what? You want me to take the job. I'll take one for the team. Mm-hmm. You have to go back to normal. I'll take the job. I'll get my green pass or my health pass or whatever they call it. And I could go about my business. I know you're saying, all right, cool. I know you did that. But take a next one. And you're like, hey, hey, listen to me. I don't even feel like I had risk. I don't even feel like I need the vaccine. Will you tell me to take a third one? Right. And I think, uh, to be honest, I'm hearing a lot of people who um opposing the, the third job already. A lot of people I know, they're like, nah, 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 they're overdoing it now, they're mm-hmm. overdoing it. I'm not going for the third one. Mm-hmm. I take the two, and I say, so like, all right, cool, let me see how, how that goes. Well, if the tactic worked on you in the beginning, why wouldn't it work again? If, 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 if you're one of those people who didn't take it because you thought, okay, it was wise to take it, you think, well, mm-hmm. you, you weigh the risk, the cost benefit, and you did a cost benefit analysis, and you think, you know what, it might be wise to take the vaccine. You weren't one of those people. You're one of those people who took it because you, you, you feel what, eventually they will mandate everybody mm-hmm. take it, or you want to travel, or you want to go to mm-hmm. a fair, or you want to go. Then why wouldn't, if they hold that, hold right. that back, why wouldn't do it again? Well, you see, I mean, uh, they were just ring your arms, like how they're trying to ring arms now. Right. Um, but you know, talking about that, the school situation, right? right. Um, because I remember having this conversation this week when they say, "Oh, all um, all all children back out of school vaccinated or unvaccinated." Well, from four to six. Yeah. From four to six. Sorry, mm-hmm. and from four from form four, four, four to six to form, for those yeah, who are from China, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, from form four to form six. That is so basically fifteen to eighteen year olds. Right. Yeah, right. and um, some people. Oh, dang, how are they going to do that? Kill the children and them. They don't care about the children. Right. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and people were like, what? Oh, I'm confused. I don't know what's going on now. And I was trying to explain to somebody, listen, this is what happens. This reaction is what happens when you lie to people. Right. Yeah. This is the action. This is what happens when you use tactics to scare people. Right. Right. And then you reach a point where, oh, God, but I had no choice here again. Right. So I had to do. Right. And then, no, because... I, I I was telling um somebody on 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 Facebook that I say was oh, is they don't come out and say a child go dead yeah, if they don't yeah, get the vaccine yeah, yeah, or not. Yeah, yeah. If your child if you do carry your child to get the vaccine, <laughs> your child go dead. <laughs> Israel can come out and say oh if the, a person child dies and they didn't get the vaccine, his parents should be charged. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And all kind of bola man all thing. All kind of clumping, right? yeah. All kind of clump thing. So. No, I, did he say if they died? I, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Saying if they die, if they die, if if they contract the disease and they died, and the and the re, and the parent didn't um get them vaccinated, that the parent should be held liable. Uh, uh, I, I didn't even know he had that caveat that they needed to die. I thought yeah. he just said if you if you if your child goes unvaccinated, they should charge. No, 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 no. He uh, he not listen. He might be all kind of thing, but I don't think he dash it, right now, boy. 
<laughs> you understand? I don't, I don't think so. I, I, I reserve comment. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. And I was trying to explain, explain that to somebody. And um, but that person is a, is a real lovely fan too. So, you know. As, as are many. Yeah. You have, uh, he never said that, you know. Yeah. I said, I mean, he never said that. Uh, we're doing, man. Right. You, you, you took a group, a demographic of individuals who were, and obviously you had to be careful how you say it, but in general terms, the safe, mm-hmm. like Selassie briefcase, right? The safe in terms of the chances of them mm-hmm. from a statistical standpoint. And you try to inject the fear of God into people about the safety of those children. Mm-hmm. And now, because you wanted them to get vaccinated. And now, now that you have to make a move, and I, even, I don't even understand why you need to make the move, but we'll get oh, to that. I mean? I, I will get to that, mm-hmm. right? But you know that you have to make a move and you now need to get people to send their children. Now, even, no, the problem is you, in, you instilled so much fear into people. I was surprised they even send their vaccinated children to school. Mm-hmm. Because if I had a, a, a compromised individual in my home, like a grandmother or something, mm-hmm. I wouldn't feel comfortable even sending my vaccinated child to school because my vaccinated child could con- could still contract the virus and come home and mm-hmm. my vaccinated child might be fine, but it could give it to granny, granny. and granny could die. Mm-hmm. So I could have understood, if, if the amount of fear that you placed in the hearts of in- and minds of individuals, I was surprised that even that people sent even the vaccinated children out to school, but they did. But now you have to make a move and you need to get them to send the children to school and you're, you're going to be, you, 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 you may have to, you're running into the problem now of people having a misunderstanding about the risk involved mm-hmm. and being too fearful. And now it's back and all. Right. And so, so then you're seeing these comments on Facebook. I tell you, you really something when you go on Facebook, you'll be like, wait, boy, That's no, why I don't go, brother. Yeah, boy. You'll be like, go ahead. Wait. So you see in the comments on Facebook, obviously, people trying to ridicule people because they're saying, oh, um, you know, they make these things. One minute, they're saying to open these schools. Next minute, now they're saying they don't want to send a child to school. Mm. Plenty of people are these... Are, it's not the same is, people. Is it the same people? Yeah, it's not the same no, people. No, but yeah. they decide they want to lo- yes. lop everybody together because they make you look bright and make you look... So you make your point so you can get some round yeah. of applause on, on social yeah. media. Yeah. I mean, and for the people who, who clap and you'll ship it too, I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Every, just, everybody involved in that whole scenario, don't they? Yeah, I just tell people, you're yeah, going on. So you think that's really what's going on? You think it's the same people? Well, screenshot somebody right. who said that <laughs> and then come and say something. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah, yeah, screenshot yeah. the two yeah, statuses yeah. and post them. You know, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, Oh, they don't want to know what they want. One minute they're saying this, mm. next minute it's not the same people saying it. Exactly. It's not the same people saying it. But yeah. But I, I guess I don't know. Mm. But anyhow, so you now we we faced with this situation here. Yeah, I mean, as on the road today, so I saw a lot a lot of children mm. Out, mm. outside of today. Yeah. I was like, yeah, hey, things looking interesting, things things looking up. Well, my daughter went to school today. Um What what class your daughter in? <laughs> She's in form four. You're the same form four already? <laughs> yes, buddy. <What? laughs> yeah. Yes, so yeah, she went to school today. Mm. Right? For the first time since last year, March. Mm-hmm. Right? And um this is the <laughs> this is now you and I were meant were talking about this the other day. When they um when they had started this safe zone nonsense, right? Mm-hmm. And one week they opened the restaurant and they couldn't drink alcohol. And then the yeah. next week they opened the restaurant. The, the, no, the next week they say people could drink alcohol. No, right? they say they could drink alcohol from the first of November. Right, yeah. right, right. Now, you would ask, or any sensible person would ask, what was the change? Mm-hmm. What happened between, where's the science? Where, where, yeah. how, where's the science that backed that political but no, decision? No, no, no. What's worse is, right? They make that statement the Saturday, mm-hmm. and then the Friday, right before they make the statement, we had, the, since the major right. lockdowns, we had the highest number of cases and the highest number no, of deaths. deaths. Yes, right. And then the Saturday come after, and, right. and you, you, you say, no, well, you're going to open up more things, or give it, you're going to give it more liberty. Right. So I was like... <laughs> So hold on. <laughs> when it done, say, did you say, what did they say? Alu Akbar, <laughs> yeah, yeah. when it done, make this thing, did it, you know? <laughs> Listen, you, you want to, if they could go to school now, why they couldn't go to school last October, mm-hmm. when we had nowhere near hundreds of cases a day, mm-hmm. you understand? No Delta, no Lambda. Well, I don't even know, I don't even acknowledge we have Lambda here, but, the, but not, we had no um, scary variant to deal with. We didn't have, 
Um, they say because we didn't have vaccines. Yeah, but what, what difference does the vaccine make if but, you still have hundreds of cases a day and and hospitalizations uh, at, at an uncomfortable level? Yeah, just tonight, yeah, I heard them talking them, about yeah. about the fact that the ICU capacity is you know it's not they're not comfortable with it. So if they could have gone to school, if they could go to school now, why they couldn't go to school last year? So, or why they couldn't go to school last year, June mm. and 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 May? When there was nothing happening, mm. when the only cases we had were people coming from foreign, right? right? Yeah, why, yeah. Why, why? They would say, they would say that, that they didn't understand it. They, it. they didn't understand the virus yet, and they were still taking the time to learn it. They took how long to learn it? We had we had a lockdown from March, April, May. So during May, we, we by May we knew who it was, who were, who was mm. who were the most vulnerable, right? Um, and we knew that we didn't have any great community spread. And we did, we did, and. So we could have made some attempt to send some children to school. Like, well, I mean, they did for form, for standard five. For standard five to do yeah, an exam. And, and, exa- and I think form five and upper six. Mm. But generally, you could have... The same, pe- the same children who could go to school now, why they couldn't go to school last week or the week before or any other time? What is it? There is, nothing has happened now that could warrant any degree of comfort with respect to letting more people mingle. Um, well, you see, is something. Sometimes there's two things in life. There's 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 make a move, right? Mm-hmm. And and a matter of fact, one of the major things is make a move is actually discomfort, mm-hmm. not necessarily comfort. Discomfort is one of the mm-hmm. things that make a move. Yeah. And I think it's discomfort. I think mm-hmm. when they realize that the teachers say, "Hey, mean double teaching." Right. Right. I'm not right. going through that. Right. And then you realize that you who will not who will not be educated. And then, because you know, like, you're going to get pushed back from yeah, yeah. you know that going to to touch your base, your base, your political, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then you feel, and then you realize the kinds of people who are not sending the children yeah. to school, and you're thinking, wait, hey, they might be, they, they might be the kinds of people who might hold that against me mm-hmm. when we had to go to the polls again. That's what makes you move, mm-hmm. right? And and that was my from remember from the beginning of this thing, I kept saying, listen. What is the exit strategy? And if you have no exit strategy, why are you entering? Right. right. Now, you could say in the very beginning, you had to do what you had to do because you didn't know what was going on. Right. right. But at some point in time, you have to face the reality and you have to make some sort of attempt to deal with a little bit of risk. So, right. Mm-hmm. But you delay, delay, delay. This was this, and this was even before we even knew vaccines would be something coming within a mm. year to eighteen. Months. Remember, because remember, initially they were saying over two years. So over two years. Yeah. In fact, they were saying Fauci himself said, "If you have, if you have hopes of a, a vaccine coming in eighteen months, then you kind of have a you holding on to a pipe dream, mm-hmm. essentially." So, what how what was what was the strategy when you entered into this phase, right? But instead of facing the music, then you delay, 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 and in the end, we got lots of death. We got the economic um, stagnation and deflation generally, and not deflation of prices, but a deflation of the economy, a, a shrinkage right. of the economy. And we 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 humbug the children education. Well, you see, so in a previous episode, episode, uh, if I get time to edit it and put that clip in, mm-hmm. you remember you we were saying you were, I was asking um I was asking you something about about why oh about the teachers and you say not all the teachers were vaccinated and i say but why you don't force them to get vaccinated right, and you right. say because you're afraid of the unions right yeah yeah so yeah. is it that the unions run in this country well the unions run many countries eh well well true in, in, in the u.s especially teachers unions are very very powerful they run you know they mm. they call the shots with very many governments but, well, but yeah but, but but to be fair and this might sound a bit far-fetched but in those other countries nobody's play as big and bad as, as really most first world countries you heard joe biden tell people he run another patient with them <laughs> listen you, you didn't hear the, and the man said listen all the govern, governors who do agree i come in for it yeah, yeah but that's the thing, real ranking thing yeah but the thing is i understand that he probably senile you understand <laughs> and he when you are saying that he yeah, no, probably didn't know what you're saying. You, you see Australia? You see yeah. all them politicians? Right. Australia, <laughs> the, I think the two countries that, that had it real bad was Australia and Trinidad. Um, but Australia, they're still going to beat you between certain hours. Why? The, the, the people asking you, what are you doing outside? You know? mm. Nah, we, we ain't comparable today. 
But no, no, but, no, but you remember we had nearly we just, you forget it now. Well, when no, they, the had, police they, had, they, had, they had roadblocks for a couple well, of days. And they were sending and, people back home and, and, and drink. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then, right. And then that's it. People right. are like, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah, but yeah. in Australia, what happened? <laughs> when people say, you can't do that, it's like, no, no, we can. <laughs> and we will. And <laughs> we will hold it down and kick in your face and put the mask on your face. <laughs> that's what's going on over there. So that, I mean, I hear you. And I mean, me and no fan of how this thing being handled here. But let like, Australia, Australia different, dog. Australia no, real I, different. The, the thing is, because my point is, somebody like Rowley, the way Rowley does talk, mm-hmm. you wouldn't think that any union could could hold the fire, this, hold his feet to the fire. I don't, you know, the uh-huh. way he uh-huh. he carries about himself, the way the, the things he say. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't feel well, anybody could could shake him. <laughs> I, 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 I think anything could you, anything could the one thing that can shake any politician is the threat of losing their work, mm. and I think that ultimately, um, just because that's that's where the unions in general and across the world hold their power, you know, right? Mm-hmm. When they could get their membership to go in a different direction from you, you are afraid of that, and that, and therefore, yes, some of them. In the in other countries, they're funded by the unions. They may make major contributions to the campaigns. But apart from that, they bring voters their way. So if you could sway the voters, and ultimately, I think that is what gets people moving here, um, when they get the impression that the types of people that are now unhappy are the kind of people they don't want to be unhappy with them. That's when they they begin to move in a particular direction, and it is it is sad. And I mean, we I don't know if you you have much to say on it after this, but in, in general, I think one of the things that bothers me is that I get the feeling when people look on at governments and, and, and generally the, the technocrats and we think, okay, they are making decisions because they have all this information and they're so bright and they, they you know, they're looking at the, mm. the, 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 the situation from a rational stand. Mm. There's only scientific decisions yeah. they're making. If you stop and think for one second, I don't know if you saw this clip. There was this guy, um, Scott Gottlieb. He was a, a former FDA, um, <clears throat> I don't want to misspeak, I think he was the president or the chairman of the FDA at a point in time, or the commissioner, sorry, mm. the FDA. He gave an interview on CBS sometime, and he was talking about the the ruling, the um, the social distance mm. ruling, right? The, the, guide, the guidelines given by the CDC in the United States. And he was basically saying that it was made up. Like, people think that the six feet comes from some sort of study that they right. conducted at like, completely arbitrary he said actually they, they started with 10 feet mm. and then well because somebody when they when they advised the white house that it should be 10 feet somebody in the white house said no nah, you're mad it could be 10 feet 10 mm. feet you can't do nothing with 10 feet 10 feet a business can't open mm. all right well they make it six feet and then when they wanted schools to open they bring it down to three feet right yeah, and he states, right uh, and he himself he and all said he said um but it's three feet here in Trinidad for schools right uh, okay, okay right which is again causing problems but and he said, you know, and does this even make a difference? Because we know now that that um that COVID is airborne. Mm. It's not um um droplets mm. traveling anymore. It's it's aerosolized. It, mm. it, so what difference does even six feet make or ten feet or mm. twenty feet make anymore once it's airborne? This is he as I say, he was a commissioner of the FDA mm. and he said that on CBS, not on some Waco website or mm. some, you know what I mean? He said that to, I can't remember who was who was conducting the interview, but he said it on, on CBS. So when you are here thinking that these people are making science or, or rational decisions based on scientific evidence and data. They put right on the thing in the, and put it in the bag, dog, and shake up the bag and pull it out. It's all, it's all about what they could get away with, mm-hmm. right? I could get away with this. And I've been real honest with you. i real fed up. And this is why I hate Trinidadians. Some of them. Mm-hmm. Plenty of them. Um, but <laughs> you see how people not pushing back against wearing this mask in the car with yeah, your family and, and fully vaccinated. Wearing mask outdoors in yeah, general, that too, bro. Wearing mask outdoors too. Yeah, boy. You see how people not pushing back against that? Yeah. Uh, Jesus, Lord. I like it. It, Yes. It, I, it, I can't fight the fight by myself for us. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it is, I tell you, it frustrating. Make you... It, and it, it, what makes it even worse is that everybody you speak to, that isn't even one of them that people justify, you know? Mm. Like, I heard people try to justify the curfew, and, you know, although that is just, to my mind, just as unscientific, right? But um, I've heard people try to justify that. I've heard some people who feel, you know, who don't feel upset about that. But almost everybody you speak to has a problem with the masks in cars, mm-hmm. right? With your family. Right. right? Oh, well, masks in, car, masks in private cars in general. Right, yeah. Because... 
um, I mean, if you are already sharing a private vehicle, it's just like if the person is in your house, mm -hmm. you invited the person to your home. Now, the thing is, the person shouldn't be in your home if they're not. I mean, when we were in the 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 the, the, the real tight lockdown stage, the mm -hmm. aim was to prevent you from mingling with people outside your household anyway. Mm -hmm. So the 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 problem isn't whether they're wearing a mask or not. They shouldn't be in your house or they shouldn't be in your car, right? If if they didn't need to be, mm -hmm. but what difference? Because if we're in an air-conditioned vehicle, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the mask is not a force field. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So you have to, if you're going to curb and imp impose on my civil liberties, and you have to prove the case and make me hey, listen. This is this this is not a, this is not something that might that might help or it might reduce it by a two percent. Mm. No, you have to show me. No, no, no. For the inconvenience of making you drive around in a vehicle with a with a with a mask, I had to prove that this cutting spread in half. And and we just talk about private vehicles. I talk about because I I be real honest with you, dude. Mm -hmm. If I jump in my car and it's somebody like when we were doing new renovations and I had to drop the electrician out the road. Um, when we sit on the car because we know in close proximity mm -hmm. the air condition on, I put my mask. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? But when I in the car with my wife and mm -hmm. my children, I don't wear no mask, dog. No, but I mean all of it is we just buy ice cream. Right and, and and share the spoon. Look, look. Mm, what is it? <laughs> and, what are you doing? And dog? I mean, don't tell me that it, you do that for law enforcement purposes, because it is already foolish to tell me that simply because you can't get a handle on pH driving, I have to wear a mask. Yeah, exactly, because you are incompetent. That's number one. But number two, even if then a, a defense to the ticket should be that's my family. Once I could prove I was mm. in, the, in, the, in the in the in the in the car with a member of my my household. You know, the, the police officers are not foolish. They could use a discretion. Sure. Well, okay. All not, right. They can be trained right. to okay. use the discretion mm -hmm. and say, if you see a vehicle with four adult males or four adult females or something in the vehicle, that, you know, look not related to each other, you can stop the vehicle and ask, ask question. who are these people? Mm. And if you are not satisfied with the answers that they give you give your ticket brother and then it's for you to, to go in to, court to go in the court and, and say, you fight your case and you say this man is my cousin and he was live all of them must him and wherever your evidence is right, right? you fight the thing there right but for you to be able to clearly establish for a police officer that there's my daughter in the back seat mm. and the police officer still gives you a ticket and you you have in, as a, a right thinking citizen in this country think that's fair and unavoidable like you know well it is just what they go do what do you mean what are they go do they could not do that mm -hmm. you understand so so, they it. so they could stop every car no use your discretion uh, they, they do stop every car plenty other things <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> plenty <laughs> other things they do stop every car and i mean i don't know if i, sh I should admit this but i don't do it mm. you understand and i've never been stopped serious no never mm -hmm. been stopped so it is not to say that by making the law there 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 and i mean even when it's applied it seems to be arbitrary too because mm. most of the people i've heard who've had these issues pull, pull up mic there. most of the people who that i've heard that have had these issues mm. they you know they tend to be they tend and what they will always say is while they get any ticket written up somebody pass right without it without it mm. right or you might see the police one, the police officer dealing with you and two in the back seat of the, the jeep. Mm -hmm. Do I have no mask? Or, one, or both of them with the mask under the chin. Yeah, yeah. So let's be honest. This is not in any way, shape or form really geared towards or having any effect on the spread. It, and the, my thing is, you might say to me, how you know that? Well, I want, it's not for me to know that. It's for them to prove it. Mm -hmm. They have to make the case that this has a significant effect on spread. And then they could say, well, this is why you're curbing your civil liberties. And on the thing with the, the schools, before we move on, the, um, now I, was, I could say the issue is the, 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 the schools are being told that they need to, um, enforce social distancing guidelines, right? Right. Right. Or they, they have to, they have to work with any recommendations. Now, the issue is this presents a problem. If your, if your aim was to get all the children vaccinated, it would pose a problem. Now that it's it's the, the the all of the children are out to school, it is once again it is posing a problem, even though all of them aren't vaccinated, mm -hmm. right? Because if you're going to have to have them sit three feet apart, 
like in the case of my daughter's school, they are now saying they can't do it. Right, because the classroom is not big enough. They're not, so the children were allowed to come to school today as a mama guy seen because, well, you know, they say, oh, they're to come to school. So what are we going to tell you? Don't come. Mm-hmm. Come. And then they, they went to school today. It was an unproductive day. And they are now declaring essentially, well, there's nothing they could do. Or they had to go, we had to go back to online learning. And the most that could happen is when they have to have to come to school, like if you're doing... Labs and things. Yeah, you, you, you'll come to school. So, and why is that? That is because they can't stick within the guidelines provided by the ministry. Now, if the ministry... No, you would think to yourself, oh, well, that problem is insurmountable. What we could do? Because the, the, the schools just don't have the space. But then you could ask the ministry, where that three feet come from? And does that three feet make any sense? Mm. Or is that just something you're doing to look like you're doing something? So y- y- you say, well, we had to put them apart. Why? Why? What, what difference would three feet make? Mm. You, you understand what I'm saying? And is it, and why? So if three feet makes a difference, why if one of the children come down with COVID, you'll send home everybody anyway. Mm. But and they were social distancing, social distancing works, mm. right? You're keeping them three feet apart, you guarantee they wouldn't get it. No, it doesn't. It's arbitrary. Again, if somebody pull that figure out of the ass. So it, it may be doing absolutely nothing. And you see, right? But in a regular class, I think that in a regular class, a desk, the only thing is the person next to it. Well, now they do use bench in school. In so secondary I, school, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I think in secondary school, yeah. So I, I think, I think it should be able to fit a normal class. Your desk would be at least two feet. Well, in some schools, like in my daughter's school, the 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 classrooms were already overburdened. They okay. already had too many children for and uh, to fit into very little classrooms. Now, okay. other schools might have it easier. They might have, you know, bigger facilities. Some secondary schools, the newer, the newer ones, the ones that were built within the next the past 10, 15 mm. years, they tend to have bigger classrooms. But she goes and they have no they already will they they already couldn't deal or could could hardly deal with the um the volume of students they were, they, they had attending okay, school anyway. Okay. So, so they will have they, so they are having issues. And but my, my my point is three feet, what does that mean? No, is not, that even No, that, I don't understand your point. I just shunned it because you realize first of all, I, I think this the pulling and talking is 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 generally because I think a lot of teachers don't want to, to teach in person. Uh, I, I agree that that might be the case. Um, but uh, what I would admit is that the, it appears the school, again, I can only speak for my yeah. daughter's school, that does not appear to be the case. The teachers seem to rather be a, rather be in school. Okay. Right? Um, you know, I can't say for any other school, but in her case, the teachers appear to really want to be in school. There are a few who seem you know to prefer teaching from home but most of them uh, uh, i think they find it f- more frustrating uh, whether they care about the students or not they just find it makes their job harder okay to have to do it online um i think it, it the workload is increased on them the way they the, the way they have to plan lessons mm-hmm. and the way they have to distribute the lessons and um and the way they, have, they still have to teach the same number of classes but now they have these weird timings mm-hmm. to do it and so on so i think it's actually more inconvenient for most of them so whether or not they care, you know, they're one of those well, then, dedicated teachers. They just prefer it to pack each other you see fit. Pack them how you see fit and, and do your thing. Listen, um again, I, I am not an expert myself, but I will I am just demanding that they explain to me and they make they be very clear about where they got the information that three feet makes a significant difference in the spread in, in the in, in curtail in the spread of you the virus. You want the scientific data, you want the peer studies. Yeah, the peer reviewed studies, yeah. yeah the studies. randomized studies, especially, you know what I mean? So we don't have these, you know, cherry picked things that, you know, we just cause anybody could get any study to prove what they want. Mm. You know? Um, I, was, I was watching something the other day, but the same with the same guy, um, Dr. John Campbell. Mm-hmm. And he was he was showing it. Is that a study that was done? And apparently, some I think CNN or one of these these big uh, news outlets pick up this study and mm-hmm. decided to push it and run with it. Let me not blame CNN. Somebody right mm-hmm. decided. And when they check it, when he started to break down, it was a student in a in a university, you know, who do this study? Right, you know? right, 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 right. Yeah, and, and you see, because of course, whatever promotes the agenda that they want, they don't care about. So, like, if, if you bring up ivermectin, they'll say no. Where we don't have randomized control mm-hmm. studies. So, whatever little cherry pick study, you nah, that can't prove ivermectin works. Okay, fine, no. Pro- so that thing in um, Uttar Pradesh in 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 India in, yeah. that um the that um Anthony Vera was referring to. 
um, the people are quick to say that was not that's not evidence of of ivermectin's efficacy. No problem. No problem. I not mm. a scientist myself, so I can I don't. I'm not gonna, you know, ridicule or or, or support the methodology mm. used in that study. But then you'll find when a when a study comes up about masks being effective, they don't care whether it was randomized or mm. or whether it was peer reviewed or nothing like that. Just oh, the study says, bam, let's run with that. Because this this study that he pointed out here, the people say that they did certain things, certain tests, and they and. He was like, but, but where the evidence? Where, where, mm. where is it? You have said the information. I'm, I cannot find anywhere. Right, right. Right? You have no links to anything. I cannot find any more information anywhere mm. online. And, but obviously this, whichever news site or whichever uh, news outlet it was, they ran with this. Yeah. yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? I remember they, just the other day they ran, I think it was um, Rolling Stone in the United States, the Rolling yeah, Stone magazine. Yeah, it's not Rolling Stone. It's, it's yeah. real crazy. That's all they, they ran with some story about people overdosing on ivermectin yeah, on the whole and, space. And, and they couldn't... Clogging up the arm. Yes, yeah, so they couldn't deal with gunshot victims. Yeah. Um, obviously, they wanted to run with that because it, it painted a particular mm. picture and it would be something that their fan base would, you know, their readership would be interested in and it turns out that it was completely false. The only doctor who gave them the information was on suspension. He like, wasn't even working there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I saw him in an interview. I saw he was interviewed. They had yeah. him on TV. You know I mean? Nobody decided to check the man's credentials yeah. before they put him on TV. They were just so glad, hey, we could get somebody, somebody to, to, to say support. that these, these people, these idiots who eat mm-hmm. in horse space, killing people, killing not just themselves, they're killing mm-hmm. other people. They just put him on TV. So, as I say, it, it is very, very 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 dangerous that um it, the times we live in now where where, where um certain news sources are, are deemed to be you know uh, above reproach well and you know as you bring up that let me get an next uh, next funny one remember the the there's a story with the transgender person who was leading the charge against dave Chappelle in netflix that Netflix yes, yes. fired him, right? Yes, yes. And well, leading not the one who was working for Netflix, the one one of those who was front and center in the protest that took place, mm. right? Yeah. But that one who was working for Netflix, who ended up getting sent home, and then, mm-hmm. right? And people were like, "Nah, Netflix for Adi person for talking out." And then when they check, it was it's not that. Right, right. It, the, 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 they had leaked. Information, information about the metrics yeah, on, yeah. The, on the specials that were the, coming out. The metrics, the, the money Dave Chappelle was being yeah, paid. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Okay, yeah. see, that's a breach of confidentiality. Yeah, yeah. But then, but people pick up the story and left out that side of it. That this person was, was going against the contractual agreement. Right, right, right. You understand what I'm saying? So, in other words, um, that the person was fired because they were causing a problem for, for Netflix. Mm. They were going to lead a protest against yeah, Netflix and as good. opposed to them mm. breaching the contract. And 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 that is exactly all oh, listen, please just do a little more research now. Eh? When mm. something seems a little weird, so well, let me get a little more information on this now. Eh? Let me dig up a little bit. Well I think when things confirm people's biases, they're just so excited to do that. Because you know, they wouldn't stop and think f- first of all, would Netflix want to do that at this point, at this point in, time. in time you know like they would have wouldn't they have enough sense to know not to do that mm. at this point in time now it still could be that they wanted to do that they wanted to fire the person because they were kicking up a fuss so they found other things that they were doing mm. that were in breach of contract but the point is at a time like this they would know better than to yeah, 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 yeah. They, you know, or they should at, at least you should think you should think that as an intelligent human being you should think that first the HR department will be like even if the person mm. does something wrong let, let's just say the person mm. have been coming to work late for the past month yeah. the HR department and they are changing and they're pushing the sergeant the HR department will say hey Nah, I let that go, boy. Right now, if yeah. you send that person home, it looks awful. Yeah, you have, you have to let that go. Yeah. Stock prices could tumble. Right, you have to take that, Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but on that issue, the whole, we switching gears here now, mm. right? Um, we brought something to my attention. Well, you and other people, but um, <laughs> that was kind of funny. This week here, where the... Um, I can't remember the name of the individual, and I I don't know what 
the individual identifies as, so I don't want to misspeak, right? right. But the, in, the individual that was front and center in leading the protest right. that took yeah. place out mm. of net, outside of Netflix compound in LA, is LA? Yeah. All right. Um, apparently, the internet, a very motivated group of people, went and found some very um, uh, damning tweet, tweets. No, you see, but this was telling you that the cancelers just get canceled itself <laughs> because them, none of us have perfect past. Yeah. None of us. Yes. You understand? Um, obviously, we, we did, some of us didn't go as, like, as extreme as others. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and the thing that was really, really funny, and it, it's not funny to me, because I, you know, people call me cynical. Um, I do, I, I, I see the dark side of people way before I see the, 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 the light, mm. right? So, you, I'm very rarely surprised when you tell me, hey, this person who pretends to be this angel, they actually did X or Y or Z. Most of the times they're confirming what I believe already. Mm. But in this instance, even I didn't expect them, I didn't expect what that person said would have been even that extreme. Mm. Because those those tweets that they, they, they dug mm. up were, it was some awful, those were tweets that I and all wouldn't say, you mm-hmm. know, and I don't pretend to be like some sort of virtuous. Yeah, yeah. You, don't, you don't pretend to be politically correct, correct yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Or, 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 or study people's feelings or like that. And I wouldn't tweet them things. So for somebody who pretends all day long to hate hate speech, mm-hmm. to say those things, mm-hmm. it says something real, real damning about these individuals. Well, right? no, yeah, here's the funny thing about it, right, Jude? Mm-hmm. Um, because I, I. Oh, I was going to say on the fence with this one. But when you're talking about topics like this, you, you <laughs> really can't say on the fence. You understand? Uh-huh. But let me tell you why. This person made these comments, I think, in between 2010 and 2012, somewhere there, right? Mm-hmm. Can we say people could, you could have grown no. within that time? No. Let me, say, let me explain why, right? Now, now, though, if I honestly and truly believed that um the sky was red mm-hmm. right i i you know for all my life i believed the sky was red and you know i acted like the sky was red and i would argue with people who said it wasn't red and i was down with the sky is red and today you explain to me or something finally breaks through to me and i now come to understand that the sky is blue i am not going to tomorrow turn into the person who calls everybody who thinks the sky is red an asshole. Because mm. I was, I thought the sky was red yesterday. All right, I understand. It, it, so you can say I've grown mm-hmm. and I have changed, but you could never come from the, well, if you say anything bad, I want you cancer. No, 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 mm. no, no. That has to be fake. Right. Because if it was real, you would be like, you know You'd what? You'd be trying to, you, you have to have a conversation. A con- yeah. Exactly. Because you would say, you know what? I... I know, I, I've said some awful things and I know, you know, sometimes you're trying to be funny. You're trying, mm. Because I think the individual who made those statements, those tweets, who posted yeah, those yeah, tweets, yeah. was trying to get a laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, exactly. Funny, yeah, the same thing Dave, Dave Chappelle, Chappelle is doing, do. yeah. right? You know what I mean? So you could say to you, you could say, listen, I get it, you're a comedian. You used, I used to say shit like that to be funny. Mm-hmm. But let me just tell you, it's not so cool or whatever. Yeah, it, it affects certain people right. in a different way. Yo, if it was real, it would come. You would you, you would present yourself differently because you would have an understand. You could you you would know what it would be like to be like that yesterday. So you wouldn't come down. You wouldn't mm-hmm. go to that. You wouldn't go straight. It wouldn't go from zero to hundred then. Yeah. But when you go from zero to hundred, it's because it's fake. Mm-hmm. It's fake. You don't actually hate hate speech. You just like to control. It's control. It's a power play. Mm. It's li- follow my rules or else. That's what it's about. And so now the can the cancellor is now being cancelled. And has has have they? Well, I listen. I don't even know that much about the individual. Well, so it, I don't well, know if, well, if I, I think what now, profile no, they, they could they, have lost. The, the, the thing is. Now people want to hear you on this Dave Chappelle story but, again. But, but to be fair, I think the people who, who dug up those tweets didn't want to hear. That person mm. from, and I keep saying, I, 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 I'm not doing that on to be, yeah. you know, facetious. I really don't know what they identify themselves as. So, um, that person, I think the people who dug up those tweets 
didn't want to hear from that person anyway. So what I mean is, I don't know if that person has lost support in, in that the community. Crowd, right. Um, I understand, but I, I think the average person who may have been not too sure how to feel about the situation mm-hmm. and just listening in, they're like, yeah, I think. Well, I, I wish it opens people's eyes in general to what a lot of this activist culture we have is about. It's about a lot of fakeness. Mm-hmm. It's not just that person. It, 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 you know, the same sort of people who would, you know, get, you know, apoplectic about hearing the N-word mm-hmm. are the same types of people who would use other yeah, wait, wait, that is slurs your, that is all the time. Kill me, you know. All the time. Black people. Yeah, this and this is a topic where so I want to push it in here because we're mm. talking about this, right? Yeah. Black people would say they have a problem with white people using the N word, mm-hmm. right? Say nigger, mm-hmm. right? But they will call everybody else, all everything sorts of names. else, all sorts of names. And and the thing is, because everybody else is not as violent as you may be. To well, rush you for seeing it or hit you for seeing it. Mm, mm, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I yeah. think, I, I, because let me be real. If, if you, you bounce up a, a real, and somebody who, who you feel threatened by, mm-hmm. right? And you feel if you say something after them, mm-hmm. they could hit you or shoot you. Mm-hmm. They ain't going to do it. Right, right. They ain't going to do it. Yeah, yeah. Right? So the, the thing is, they, they pounce on, on people who, who, they feel they could take advantage right. of. And whether it be physically or whether it be through this cancel mob. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ah, boy, look, somebody. We, we could, could, yeah. yeah, we yeah. Could, we could, we're going to pretend that we're really offended by when we hear this person say, we're going to pretend that we don't know the person was joking or we don't know that the, we don't know the person wasn't trying to be harmful. Mm. You know, we, we'll pretend that and we'll... Because what it is is a flex. It's a flex. We have power. We can now... I can make you dance to my tune. Mm-hmm. You, you understand what I'm saying? And I'm going to... Pre- now, what, that's what it really is. But I admit is that. So I'm going to pretend that it's some principle yeah, stance yeah. I'm taking against prejudice or this. But it's not that. Because you are yourself prejudicial. And mm-hmm. you have no problem being prejudicial. And when people call you on it, you even stop and say, shit, yeah, boy, you're right. Mm-hmm. I'm actually being um, hypocritical there. I will try to work on that. It's, I, I might be perfect, but I'll try to work on that. No, they don't. They have no problem being prejudicial in their own life. But they use that because they, they can't say what it really is. It's really narcissistic yeah, selfishness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to exp- I want to flex my muscle and make you dance to my tune. They can't say that. So they have to say, well, you know, we do we 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 condemn hate speech and prejudice of all kinds. And then they start every sentence with them and them. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you understand what I'm saying? You're really going to answer that. Is it true? Uh, oh, Lord. <laughs> yes. And, and, and I mean, this is not... I'm just talking about people in general who mm. are... Um, hip, uh, hypo, hypocritical when it comes to these sorts of um of uh, and it, it's most plain when it comes to race because mm. you, you hear all sorts of divisive language and 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 um and and insulting language coming from the black community towards other people and then if you bring it up they'll like try to excuse it yeah. they'll say ways because but, we worse of I listen my thing is they say don't punch down or 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 they allow to punch up that's yeah. what they would say right now listen I not. That is a different discussion, and I don't want to go too yeah. deep down that road. But it's not. I ain't even here to argue with people who hold them kind of, who, who find them kind of dotish, who just perform their mental mm. gymnastics about. Well, actually, it's not bad for me to say. Listen, my, the point is, if you are truly a person that hates hate speech, you would try not to commit it yourself. That's all. Mm. You, if I could understand in a moment of anger or whatever, but if you were somebody that was really, really offended by the idea of people being offended. Then you would say to yourself, all right, as much, I just wouldn't do it. Even if I feel it's all, I deserve the right to do it, I just wouldn't do it. And uh, here, what, here I live my life. I see. There are times I will flip off. I, most of the time I try to be decent. I try to be a good human being. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I'll trip off. Sometimes I'll, and I would probably say something that I shouldn't. Mm-hmm. And I will say the key to it is to, you know, kind of catch yourself. Mm-hmm. It's not, it, you know, it's how long it takes before you catch yourself and I say, well, I was wrong, but I, right. should, I should not have said that mm-hmm. or I should not have done that. And, but for whatever reason, no, that is not what, it, that is not what it's about. No, it's about cancellation. But right. so, yes. Like I, I say, it, it, is, it is simply a power play. It's just people wanting to, to control the narrative and keep people uh, and keep things in a, 
keep their power and mm. because that's what and that's what is really behind this 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 um this this um issue with, with Dave Chappelle because Dave Chappelle if Dave Chappelle is successful in doing what he's doing it breaks the mold right right, right. because it was it's only supposed to go in one direction we're mm. supposed to tell you what you can say and what you can't say and who's a sacred cow and mm. who can't be laughed at and who could be laughed at you, you but, see Damon we and say he freed his lives no. Yeah, but the man say, well, talking about comedians, huh? right? He say that Dave Chappelle with what what he did. Oh, oh, he has, he has no freed the slaves. He has no freed the slaves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because in reality, what he's expressing is something a lot of people feel, but a minority of people, through the power that they hold, have been trying to beat everybody else over the head into saying, now. The thing is, they we, we could reach to a consensus if people are just allowed to talk and if mm. people express themselves and say, listen, this is where I see you. I see mm. you on this, but I don't understand that. And I ain't trying to be an asshole. I ain't trying to be, um, you know, strip it here. But I don't understand or I don't agree with this. Or- the, you see, the thing is, first of all, for you to have that discussion, those people have to get to know themselves. Right. And because they don't know themselves, mm-hmm. because they can't come out and tell you. And I I, I don't want to, to jump in this, to this topic now, you know, but they can't come out and tell you, here we going on. First of all, what... What categorize somebody as transgender? As transgender? Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't even know. This is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So, if if I don't know, you don't know, nobody knows, some of all you don't, don't even know, mm-hmm. how are we, the regular people, to know? Right. right? How, how we know to, how to deal with you, what yeah. affects you? Yeah. How, you understand what and, I'm saying? And, and why are you demanding that the minute you make up your mind about you, I must... I must immediately fall lockstep in. Right. Because what they don't seem to understand is that most people don't have a problem with trying to be polite to you. Mm. But you see, I can't go around the place demanding that you, that people treat me as if I am rich Mm -hmm. because I identify as rich, right? When I say, because people might say that sounds foolish, but essentially what you are doing is you're not just asking me to call you what you want to be called. You want me to act as if you are what you perceive yourself to be. And that would be the same as if I was walking around saying, well, you know, perceive me as handsome. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I think I'm handsome and I could think I'm handsome, but you must now act as if I'm handsome. Mm-hmm. So you must act attracted to me mm-hmm. or you must, you must say this to me or else I, 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 I feel as if my identity is invalidated. And that's a difficult thing to do. And, and people, that's, that's something that people might have a problem with. And instead of us having a discussion about that, as, cause as Dave Chappelle would say, I have no, I have no problem with, I, everybody has a right to be what they want to be, but, to what extent must I participate in your self image? Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And, 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 and so, and that's the point. So I think one, they need to take some time and, and kind of getting to, to dig deeper in themselves and their community, mm-hmm. come up with what they want to come up with. Mm-hmm. And then, well, that is if they could even come up with a homogenous thing. It mm. may be that they are not, they call a community, but they may think, they may have very divergent views on different things. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think necessarily that the person who thinks that they were born in the wrong body understands necessarily when somebody says they're gender fluid. Mm-hmm. They don't, they might say, hey, listen, no, no, no. I just think I was born in a male body, but I am actually female. Okay. What are you talking about now with gender fluidity right. where you could just wake up today and be this and wake up tomorrow and be that? I don't understand that. So you're saying about they have to come together as a community, but maybe they're not homogenous mm. and people are just wanting, we, 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 you know, they are just, we want to put them in a category, but they're not necessarily, for instance, lesbian and gays, lesbians and gays may not necessarily even understand transgenderism. Mm-hmm. So, but we put them in one Right, big yeah. thing and it's like, but they might have completely different views mm. on that like no I think you're born one way and that's what you are you just could like the same sex but what are you talking about what going from one gender to, I don't understand that so those are all the things that we can't have adult discussions about because we have just been told well listen if you don't go along in lockstep with what we are saying or mandating then and as I say, and but the, the major problem I believe is that because they can't organize that on their side, mm-hmm. because look like Flea Monroe, which is a transgender person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know that. Right? Came out and in support of De Chappelle. And right. there are other people, there are other transgender people mm-hmm. who, who came out in support and and you know who 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 not so touchy feely with the topics mm-hmm. or the, the ideas. So now the thing is, if let's just say I know some transgender people who just who hold the same feelings that people like like flame and them hold, mm. 
then I might feel like, okay, well, we could talk about this, we could joke right. about this, because right. they seem to be cool. Right. But then two all across are no vex. Then right. you put me in a position like... Eh, yeah, eh, yeah, eh. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think uh, we, we have to be able to trash these things out in public in a civil way. And until we're able to do that, the, we will continue running into these problems. And the issue with Dave Chappelle, like I say, is he's breaking, the, he's, he, he's, he's mashing the brakes hard. Mm. Like, hey, yo, this, car, this car could go in reverse too. You know? it, could, it, it, it don't only have a forward mm. gear. And that's what they're really mad about. That's what they're really, and that's why like, they're not going to let it go because they're not going to stop. And they, they, don't want the, the, they don't want the precedent to be set that, hey, these aren't sacred cows anymore. We could, in, any, in, in many ways, you know, hurt their feelings in essence. It, 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 I tell you, it's going to be very, very, very interesting. Yeah. Even, even um, I know you want to dig on this too much more, too, too much longer. Is that a comedian who got a special, who got two specials on Netflix and is blasting Netflix now for Dave oh, Chappelle? Um, the a woman female. from Australia. Yeah. Um, right? Who did Nanette? Yeah. But yeah. the thing is, her fumble in her words is when she said, y'all are not paying me enough, right, to, to you know, accept this this kind of behavior. Well, she said that? Yeah. So I was like, wow. So She said that where? On a, in an in a interview? It, no, she said that on her um, social media. Oh. You understand? Know, because What's her name again? Um, I can't remember her name right now. Uh, um, real, and, real unfunny lady. And I was like... I mean, I understand what she's trying to say. Hannah Gatsby. Hannah Gatsby. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm. I, I understand what it is she was trying to say. Mm-hmm. But come on, real bad now. We're like, you may not like. So, well, so what she's saying, she don't want to go back on Netflix? Well, or she want no, to pull her special? Well, well, you see, the thing is, I think the, the, the thing is, people are wondering, is it that Netflix didn't offer a next special? So she so now she's talk, talking against Netflix in this kind of way. Uh-huh. You understand? Or oh, she's trying to make it seem like she not on Netflix as opposed yeah, to Netflix. Yeah, on her. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, as I say, I don't think she even attempts to be funny anymore. So I don't know why she still calls herself a comedian. I watched um, Nanette and I, and I mean, listen, I'm not, I know it was supposed to be highbrow and it was mm. supposed to be social commentary, but I thought at least it would have something by way of laughter. Mm. And I know from the get go, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get her vibe, right? But I, I should give everything a chance, right? Mm. And I just like I, I don't get this. And I will admit, I don't even think Dave Chappelle last special was that funny. No, I, do, I, 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 I would I, say, I, you know, I don't, I don't think so either. But, but anyway, yes, I think most of what he's doing now is social commentary. I think, right? But he could do. He's been doing social commentary all his life, but it was mm. funnier. Right? No, but no, I think it's, it's mainly social commentary, not necessarily comedy. I, I do think. Mm-hmm. I think the last one he, he put some drips of comedy. He sprinkled a little bit of comedy mm-hmm. over it, but I think it was mainly it was a comedy special, though, like. Yeah, let's really call it. I mean, the gene Netflix gonna call it. You gonna give a social commentary special? No. I, my thing is, if you going if you, if you wanna give a talk, give a TED talk. You know, mm. <laughs> give a TED talk and let all of you know this. This is your personal views. You, you on wouldn't them. get twenty million dollars to give a TED talk. Well, so. if you get it twenty million dollars, make me laugh. That's yes, what I'm if, if you're gonna get twenty million dollars to do a comedy <laughs> special, I should be you know laughing like how I laughed at um. It's killing me softly. Was he, was the, the the second one? I can't remember. I can't remember the name mm, of it. Now, but I should be laughing like that, not 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 just a little giggle here and there. So um, we didn't on the lighter side. Or? Yeah, yeah. Let me jump into that one time. Yeah, yeah chant for another fifteen minutes. I'm quick, quick, quick. Mm. Um, on a lighter note, yeah. So yeah, so come out. Yes, yes. That's more this red flag right. thing. I want you to explain to me where this came from. Well, I, honestly, I, I can't see where it came from. Okay. Um, I think people are just identifying red flags. Some things that... So they use the red flag emoji. So they just say well, something that... That now come out or something? No, that no, no. no the oh. red flag emoji is the only time. But I guess somebody pick it up and, oh. you know, run with it. So they say I, that... I'd always be interested to know how these social media things start. Yeah, it must be one or two people started. Oh. Pro- probably, and it probably was this Justin LaBoy person. Who's that? He is like a real popular person on Twitter and, and Instagram. So plenty mm. of courses he gives person, plenty, especially girls. Okay. He is the one who this posted. And so he was the one who was kind of giving the, the commentary on Kanye West and when he was gonna drop the album and when he is right. when he is having these listening parties. Hey, but you don't you don't listen to them thing. What's that? The um kind like Donda. 
I listen, yeah, I listen to Donna a few times. We had to talk about that sometime in the future. Cause I really like the album. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know you're seeing you really like the album. Mm. Um, we go use that for another light. Yeah, so yeah. let's stick to the red. But yeah, yeah. So probably it was him. I, I, I right. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. But and so they were just saying different things that you know you might consider red flags in a relationship, in a job, uh, in uh, a wherever, ever. Uh. And so I, I, I was hoping it's more interesting, and I, I mm. really thought it had like something happened in the, in in the subculture, internet mm. subculture that spawned it so it was not, or at least you don't nah, know nah, nah. I, oh, I don't know it to okay. be that it, it, all right all right yeah it's just uh and people pointing on red flags and and they just run with that yeah so but like, because you know obviously people get opportunities on people so <laughs> let me you know so, 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 so. red flag <laughs> so all right now i i don't know I, I don't know if you've done it have you um because it, it seemed to me like what people people kept posting what would be the red flags when it comes to a relationship. That's what I was seeing. Right. right. So I, I kind of did it, but I, you know me, I'm a bit more miserable. So I went at the people mm-hmm. who were posting these red flags, right? Like, so you see uh-huh. a lot of girls posting about these red flags. When my, one of my things was, you see the girls who does probably the Instagram question, you know, what you do, you know, whatever. Right, 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 right. And I was like, red flag, red flag, red flag. <laughs> that is, right? So yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I went and I, I posted that. Yeah, I, um, I would agree. Yeah, 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 I would agree. Ask me something. Yeah, I would yeah. agree. That'll be a red flag. So for me, yeah. that is why I, I I went at um, I mean I wasn't going and go to all them little or a little uh-huh, is, uh-huh. is him, um, but but that's really a red flag to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah for you. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I, I mean, if I were to go back into the dating world for whatever reason it mm-hmm. might be. All right. Um, so tell me, what would be your red flags if you went back into the dating world now? Um. Dating world, there are plenty, boy, dog, boy. It's a real plenty, you know. So, if you, you see, because I have a social media person. Mm-hmm. Um, one, I think if, if you invite me out and expect me to pay, yeah, that's, that's a red flag. If if a girl invite me out uh-huh, and expect you to and pay, and expect me to pay, that's a red flag to me. Uh, all right, true. Right. So, if, okay. If 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 you say we we go, let me go and take some drinks. If it's not carrying out, and then mean, you know, right. expect right. to be now. Nah. If you say let me go and take some drinks, or go. if you invite her, or if I invite her, out, I I will be right. Right. Yeah? Right. But if she if she in, in essentially invites herself on an outing with you, you with me, and then tells you to pay, yeah, then, then that's a red flag. That's a, yeah, that's a red True. Flag. I I agree. I agree. Right. I, I agree. Um, I would say the well as I say the the people who like social media attention boy that's a major red flag for me mm. yeah but you like social media yeah but not necessarily social media attention oh, you understand oh, oh, okay. so as i say i could scroll and look at things i find plenty food places all over that mm-hmm. to go and taste food mm. that's, that's good on social media right okay. but you know people to live in it trying this hard for filters and Mm. You know, you, that's the next thing. You see, you're not going up, you're going up a social media profile, and every picture have a filter. Red flag. <laughs> red flag. Next right. thing, you see, girl who can live without makeup and weave. Red flag. All right. I mean, I, would, I wouldn't say that's instantly a red flag. I have to see you without it. No, I know. I, I'll be honest. I, I've never dated any woman like that right mm. I've, 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 strangely i've never had a girlfriend who was addicted to um makeup mm. right so i never had to deal with that but um it would be a red flag if i see you without makeup and it's a problem but <laughs> if you just really like makeup and weave and thing it wouldn't bother me once you're not looking like you know nah especially Harry Monster honestly we can think dog nah dog right like, I can't deal with that. I, I cannot deal with we 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 show my me or we show my you or 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 the wig boy and 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 a take any wig any and wig? a take off the wig dog and and I see never that that's talking on the head or or them or kiddos the kiddos. And, nah nah G nah I cannot deal with that. I've been real on sit here. My boy going and be like nah look forget that let you go. Yeah. I mean I never had that but. I can't imagine it would be a a deal breaker. A nah, deal breaker nah, 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 nah 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 nah. So they might- she nah, can't, she can't wear no wig at all. No, no, if I meet you with old wig and thing, and it's cool. But if I meet you with wig and and right choose wig, but then nah, boy, 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 if that's uh, your lifestyle, I, I remember meeting a girl in the past, and she told me she said you'll ne- I will never see her natural hair. That time is we mm, least mm. front was not as big. She's like you you I will never let you see my natural hair. 
And I was like, now, uh, now forget her. All right. Okay. Okay. If I cast you naturally, I could really know you. How I could really know you? Serious one? Yeah. I hear that important. I <laughs> naturally hear that, that That's a huge red flag for us. A huge, huge, huge red And that girl was real cute and thing. But now, but you had to see that natural hair. Yeah, boy. Well, I mean, I don't have to see it, but I, I would like to know I see it at some point. <laughs> so you really think you're not married, girl? And you never see her hair. Well, I don't. That's what she tell no, me. No, that's just, that's just shit talk she's saying like for the right now. No, but as soon as they get real comfortable, she didn't, say, she didn't laugh. She didn't say. She didn't say that laugh. She was just <laughs> serious. Like you. Nah, she was just trying to tell her, listen, I'm militant with the wig thing. But before it get, before they get real comfortable, dog. Yeah, you know she think she would have fought in next front of you and not let, she, let you see her hair. But next thing she had a ball patch, very dog boy. Oh, wow. Yeah, you understand what I say? You have to know what. Hey, let me get. Let me get. Let me so if, okay, only lighter like note, right? Mm. So, um, one of my exes that, that you know, um, when we met, we met through social media. And uh, now you say, I know the person, so you had to be careful when you tell me, because now I go watch the person for you. Nah, anyway. Okay. okay so, okay. and we met through social media. We mm-hmm. went out, you know, we went out a few times and, you know, always in makeup and whatever, always well, well dressed and whatnot. Always do the makeup boy dog. When I've been honest with you, it really slipped me to do some more investigation on this makeup thing, boy. So, so it didn't it, it didn't appear as an instant red flag. Nah. So that's why it's a red flag now. Yeah, because boy, you yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, cool. And he and I, so had an idea we went out, we went to some party or something, mm. and we went to buy me after shower up and thing, mm. come in the room, light off, you know. Right. Right. And when I wake up, boy, dog, boy, and see this girl face with all the makeup. Wait, so, oh, so, the whole nine, the whole nine yards. Yeah. Right. Also, that went on. Yeah. And you still didn't make it out, because the light was off. The light was off, oh. you know, you yeah, be and you come in the room. Right. You right. know, you're, you're sexy all day. I, I must be a night vision. I just see real good with the light off. You know? uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dog has your glasses too, dog. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, true, right. true. I've yeah, taken off my glasses. <laughs> i being honest, and I told her that, I told her that, and I'm, I, I'm in no way trying to disrespect the young lady. But I told her that, I was like, yo, you sell my dream here, yeah, you sell my... I, when I saw her with all the makeup, I was like... Uh, uh, wait, wait, just now. What do you mean in no way trying to disrespect the lady? No, I'm not trying to put her down in, a, in any way. I mean, she might be very beautiful to somebody else, right? Um... But with all the makeup, it was difficult. And I, no. I think I think I would have asked if I met her with all the makeup. Because it 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 really hard, boy dog boy. It's hard for you to because this way buying too, it come like you mm. get a contract, right? Oh mm-hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you get a contract and then a little while after you start to work, they come and tell you now nah, boy dog, we had a cut your salary here. Yeah. Right, and so. you didn't see that in any contract. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hear, I hear, I hear. If so, I know I signed up for from the start, is is one thing. Right. I, I would appreciate it for your heart and a good person right. it might be. But then when I sign up on a, I say, oh God, but think, all right. Yeah, boy, oh boy. So that's a definite red flag. Yeah, no, yeah. Nah. You can't come on with no makeup at all, dog. What do you mean you can't come on here with no makeup? You can't come on here being a makeup fiend. Yeah. yeah constantly yeah. on. Yeah, on. and matter of fact, if you had a pump the first time, you have to come out be a face, boy. First time you're gonna just be a face, mm. be a face. The answer, right. yeah, 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 be a face. I, 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 so that's it, yeah. That's my red, red flag. Makeup is my, one of my major red flags, and social media attention. Well, that is it for today. Oh, me, any, any, any red flag. Me, I, don't, me, I don't have a red flag. I'm not dating, so yeah, I don't have a red flag. Me, dating, I don't, just saying, <laughs> if you know, no, nah, I mean, to be honest with you, um, I would say, where you say the body, the um. The ask my question. Mm. I I think that would be the first thing to me. I will I will observe your social media behavior. Mm. If you are, if you are way too um, addicted to social media, and I mean I don't mind you just post and you just post regularly, and you might even be interactive on social media. But you see when because to me the people who post that ask my questions, people who have nothing going on in their life though, mm. and if you have nothing going on in life. And the thing to do is to ask random strangers on the internet to ask you questions. Then I will start to feel something wrong with you. I will start to feel like, not only really something wrong with you, but me and you can't really mm. meet on that level. Because, I mean, I, I would think you should find something more constructive yeah, to do yeah, than to yeah, ask yeah, random people on yeah, the internet. Yeah, to yeah. ask me a question and then post the answer. I mean, it's a real simple way to interact with people. Or somebody yeah. post something, 
You could, hey, we me like that. You know, that's have, a, a, have a discussion on yeah. social media about something. I mean, I still, I wouldn't, that's the, 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 the platform or the venue I would choose for a constructive discussion. But if you're trying to have constructive mm. discussions on social media, all right, so be it. But when you're bored and you're... You know we are to worry red flags with, right? Who's that? Walk by. Oh, 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 you know, where's oh, your red flags? And well, I think in general, I've come to realize I is not to work for people. Mm. So I think work is a red flag. <laughs> I think, I think working for people. Working for people is a red flag. Uh, yeah. I think employment is a red flag in general because anything but self-employment, right? Mm. Um, because I have come to, to realize that um, being in an environment where you can't feel as if you could be mentored by the people you're working with mm. is a huge red flag. And it seemed to me, now I could just be overly picky mm. or whatever. And people might say, well, you just too much. Mm. But I don't see very many places that where, where I could be mentored. And I've worked in, as you know, right. a number of different places. Mm. And I've, I could, you know, count on one hand and still have fingers to play drafts mm. and, on the number of people that I could have looked at as a mentor in my entire working career. And so I would think these days I just see any form of employment as a red flag because I just feel like there's no way I could work and feel comfortable. I understand what I'm saying. I think, well, I mean, in terms of, I think you're not, in terms of the work market, I think nearly who will, Workforce and work market in Trinidad and Tobago. It's a huge red flag. I think there are a lot of awful people in positions that they shouldn't be in. Yeah. And as a result, I think we have a, a real problem with management. We do mm. have, we lack, and you, you could see it everywhere. You could see it in, in government. You could see it in, in all of the state agencies. You could see it. You could look, look at, look at what passing for leadership now in but, government. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Look at how people, you, you, you listen to our leaders. You just feel inspired. You just feel unified. You just feel as if you, 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 these people, I just always say, it, I don't feel they could lead. Like they can't lead a bunch of ants to a picnic. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. If they didn't have a big stick in their hand, nobody mm. would listen to them. Right, yeah, yeah. If they wasn't just at the helm of this party that people behold on to, TP people wouldn't listen to them because yeah. they, they do inspire. And I think that comes all the way down management so, everywhere. So the biggest red flag is BNM. Oh, Jesus. Well, to be they fair. They have a red to, flag, to you, fair, see, you see? To be fair, <laughs> they do have a red flag. You and I, I'm not saying UNC is a better option, <laughs> right? I think any political flag is a red yeah, flag right a red now. Flag, yeah. It's a red flag you right now. You a big yellow flag, a caution flag. A <laughs> <laughs> caution flag. <laughs> hey, so, select the rapper well because you know how they go for you. <laughs> hey, every time I go put a jar, we will get a table and put it right here. Every, time, jar. Is, every time they say, grow the curfew, you drop a hundred, isn't it? Who could a hundred right now, boy? <laughs> yeah. You trying to become a millionaire for me, boy? <laughs> But yeah, I think um that's it for we didn't there were some topics we didn't, we still didn't get a chance to touch on, but the um you know things ran yeah. on. Uh but I think it 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 we um we had some good discussion today. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. As we always do, man. I mean and we trying to reach the intelligent people out there, the intelligent listeners and the open minded mm-hmm. listeners, the people who are willing to have some different perspectives in their lives and, mm-hmm. and see things from a different way, a different angle. Yeah. Yeah, so thanks again for viewing. Until next week. Until next week. Thank <laughs> you.